Hey everyone, it's Phil from Ashland and welcome back. Happy Monday. Hopefully you're all staying safe and healthy. Mondays are always really great because I have so many great things that have sort of accumulated over the uh, weekend. Things that have been ordered off our website and everything that you're going to see today is something that is shipping out today. So if you ordered one of these, you'll be getting it uh, very shortly. So it'd be fun for you to see a little preview of your wallet before it goes out. And today I've got something special. I'm going to have a couple guys from the shop here pick out their favorite wallets and show uh, sort of the staff picks of today because there's so many great things to show you. But let's start off first here with this Amaretto Show Court of Enjoy the Fox and just check out the sweet luster on here. Really bright and shiny. And that Amaretto Shell Cordovan color, that has been my favorite shell color for a while. And I think this piece here is just a really perfect example of Amaretto Shell. I just love this orangey tan color. And on the inside, this one is also very, very nice. It has a reverse interior. And I like how this particular color number eight reverse interior is a little bit more orange. And it's a nice, nicer, closer complement to the amaretto shell on the outside. So this is a, one of my absolute favorite Giant the Foxes of the day. And up next here, I have another Giant the Fox. This is also in amaretto shell cordovan, my favorite shell color. This one is a little bit lighter than the last, a little bit less red at certain angles, but you get a really good sense here of the directionality of color in these shells. So you can see that at that angle, it's a little bit darker. And as I start to move it around, the shell becomes a little bit lighter, a little bit more tan, a little more orangey, uh, and then that's just sort of a fun side effect of the Shell Cordovan, especially in the lighter shades. I like to think of it sort of like a suede, where a suede has direction one way that the nap moves and the other, and the shells also have a microscopic uh, nap, so to speak. The shells move at different directions um, at a microscopic level, so that's why you see the color change a little bit like that. The only thing different on this John of the Fox is we have a mock horsehide interior when the other one was 100% shell cordovan. I think the horsehide interiors lend for a little bit more of a slim John of the Fox. The horsehide is made for us to be specifically thin, and it's actually very hard for us to get thin pieces of shell. So if you look here and I compare the two, they're, they're both very, very nice. But you might be able to see very, just very, very slightly that the shell is a little bit more thick than the horsehide interior. Uh, but both of them are definitely very nice. And I have another very fun Giant of the Fox here. This is in color number eight shell cordovan. That's the classic cordovan color. It's a dark brown burgundy shade. There's sort of more burgundy cherry colors from the undertones of this leather. And what's really fun about this particular one is it's been personalized for Lucky Larry. And I believe he's out in Denmark. This one's going overseas to Denmark. A very special John of the Fox. And this one has a black horsehide interior. Again, just slightly thinner than the all shell ones. And it looks like we've got a nice little ink stamp in the back of this guy as well. Up next here, this is a Tony the Ant in one of the most rare shell cordovan colors. This is whiskey shell cordovan. And it's a great color. The whiskey shells are a little bit darker and much more golden in color when compared to something like the natural. You can really see the uh, range of color there changes depending on what angle you look at it. A lot darker this, this direction and a lot lighter that way. You can even see it as I spin it around there. What a cool color. And uh, this tone of the ant is the stunner. We've cut that ink stamp just perfectly in the center. Up next here, I have another tone of the ant. This is also in color number eight shell cordovan. That classic cordovan color. This color eight shell piece is slightly lighter than the one I saw a minute ago. Has a little bit more red to it. And that is sort of a normal range of color that we expect to see in all the shells. They are all finished by hand. Uh, and each piece of leather is naturally lighter or darker. So that's something to be expected on all these different shells. Up next here, this is a black shell cordovan fat herbie. And we've got a couple different fat herbies sending out today. The black shells are very, very sleek, and I like how the light reflects off of these, and it makes all the curves sort of look extra nice. This one has a very cool reverse interior, and the black reverse is that greenish tan shade, and that's because all of the black dyes that Horwin uses are, a bla are green black. So if you dilute the black, you can kind of see an example here. It's a green color uh, that is tinted into the black. Up next here, check out this incredible Garnet Shell Cordovan Fat Herbie. 
That garnet shell is also a rare color. It's, it's one of the more recent color additions that Horween has. And it's just that really nice sort of red cherry shade. At certain angles, this does look a little bit more brown, like a, a reddish brown. And then at other angles, at its brightest, it is more of a red. And this is just a great looking fat Herbie. And we had a few people pick up some Chicago combs. This is a carbon fiber Chicago comb. These are naturally anti-static, which is really cool because your hair doesn't get all static from it and stick. And these are paired with an English tan Dublin leather sheath. These fit just perfectly, uh, the, or the combs rather, fit perfectly right inside the sheath like this. And we had several people pick up some key fobs, so let's go over these quickly. This is a black marbled shell cordovan key fob. You can see sort of the range of color on the black marbled. It's a lot harder for us to get a very huge range uh, or cut a huge range on these smaller pattern pieces. So this is about as big as you'll see happen on the uh, key fobs. We have another garnet shell item today. This is a garnet shell cordovan key fob, that reddish color we just saw in the Fat Herbie. And here we have a really nice dark green shell cordovan key fob. A week or so ago, there was a lot of interest in the dark green. It seems to have subsided slightly. Uh, but this dark green is a very nice shade. It's tough for us to get. If you didn't see this next to something like this black key fob here, you might mistake the green for a black. But it is definitely a green. It's just a very dark sort of a forest green. And the last key fob here, this is black shell cordovan. That's uh, other classic cordovan color. All right, speaking of black, I have a black chrome Excel two-piece watch strap here and the chrome excel is much more rich and waxy and oily and feeling and in fact you can see some of that cloudiness of the wax on the surface of this strap right here and sort of hazes up uh, just because it is tanned with so much natural wax and grease and oil uh, we make these watch straps in a couple, a couple of different sizes the lug widths can range from 18 to 24 millimeters and the lengths are made in two different lengths we have a regular length which is 120 millimeters for the longer piece here by 80 millimeters for the shorter piece and the other one is 105 and 70. i have a couple more watch straps to show you today this is color number eight shell cordovan and we make a nice unlined strap there's no fancy frills or anything to these, and that's because I think the unlined straps are the most comfortable straps you can get. I've been wearing this unlined Apple Watch band for about a year now, and it's the most comfortable strap that I have worn. What I also like about our Color H strap here is we've stained by hand all the edges on this and waxed it and burnished uh, all the edges of the strap, so it just makes it for a really sleek, simple, and clean two-piece watch strap. And one more watch strap today for you. This is, again, my favorite shell cordovan color, the Amaretto shell cordovan on a two-piece watch strap. It looks like this one is 18 millimeters on our regular length, but that is just a really beautiful shade. All right, let's move on to some irregulars that are up on the site as the time, or at the time of this recording. I do not know if they will be available uh, by the time you see this video, but there's four really nice irregulars that I just put up on the site. This one here is a John the Fox in black Dublin on the outside with a teal interior. I really like this color combo, especially down the edge there. You can sort of get hints of what's going on in the inside just from looking at the cross section. And I just think the black and teal pair very nicely. This one is a regular for just some slight cosmetic issues on the outside. You can see the crease that has developed right there is uh, just not to our normal standards. And these have a little bit, or this particular fox, has a couple little dents right in the backside there. It's tough to see at some angles. I'm trying to get it here for you. Here we have another jar of the fox that is an irregular. It's discounted, up available on our flash sale page right now. Again, that amaretto shell cordovan is my absolute favorite shell color. Just love that orange tan. But look at the bright luster on this particular piece. Super, super nice. This one we've made, uh, we've paired it with this mock horsehide interior. And mock is just a color designation. It's a light tan shade. A little bit of yellow undertones. It's tough for me to capture the proper color of this on photos and in videos like this, but it is sort of more of like a yellowy sand shade. This particular John of the Fox is an irregular for a little spot here down the spine that we're not able to get out. It's probably impossible for me to show on this video, but it's a great opportunity to get this great shell wallet at a discount. 
So here's a stunner of an irregular. This is my personal favorite wallet style, the Fat Herbie in natural shell cordovan. This one has just a great look to it. Really incredible luster, really great color. And you can see, if I was mentioning earlier, the directionality of the color. The natural has that same thing going on where at certain angles, like this angle here, it's much darker, a little bit more brown. And then when you look at it, a little bit more of a dramatic angle on this particular piece. It's much lighter, a little bit more sand color. Uh, but this is another irregular that you can get at a great price, if it is still available. And the last irregular for the day, this is a Tony the Ant in color number eight, Marble Chill Cordovan. Check out how sweet that pattern is on the back. For me, I, again, I am the minority in this opinion, but I think when the color goes from a very dramatic change from more of the burgundy shade right here on this little stripe immediately to the lighter tan shades. I just love that look. And this one has a lot more lightness uh, than darkness to it on the outside, but the inside we get a little bit more of that uh, color range that we can expect to see on the color eight marble, starting from the darkest on the right to the lightest on the left. And this is another really great wallet to get at another discount. Uh, just slight irregularities on these. This one just has some stitching issues on the top. Just a little bit um, crooked on the top here. It's not up to our normal standards. And I had a couple more wallets I wanted to show you today because I wanted to put up some new photos on our website for things that just weren't captured properly the last time I took photos. This is a black shell cordovan Bugs Moran. Again, that very classic and sleek black shell cordovan that I really like how the light reflects on it sort of makes everything look super sleek this is one of our most popular styles the giant the fox in natural chrome excel leather and this color is also one of the most popular it's a very nice neutral tan shade it's a little bit golden there's a little bit more of a taupe undertone to it especially uh, when you flex it and crease it that's the, what we call the pull up on the chrome excel leather and this one we've paired with that custom horsehide latigo interior the black with the natural on the outside, I think just pair very nicely. And one more wallet here before we get onto the staff picks for the day. This is an English tan Dublin Giant of the Fox with a mock horsehide interior. Again, that mock color is just a color designation. It's a light tan shade. That's more of a brown than it often appears on these videos. It's It has some yellow undertones to it, but it is not a yellow color. It's definitely more of a light sandy shade. Uh, but this one has been a bestseller for, for us uh, since we put it up recently. This is a newer edition uh, within the last year for our offerings, the English Tan Dublin on this Johnny the Fox. And I just think these look really incredible. I've become a huge fan of the Dublin leather, in particular the black and English tan, because of the natural grain character that this leather has. And the other thing that's incredible about it is that the Dublin is tanned using the same tree barks that we use to tan the shell cordovan at the tannery. So it is a vegetable tan leather and the more that you wear this leather, the better it's gonna get. It's just gonna develop a really incredible patina, become brighter and shinier, and the color does deepen dramatically. All right, I've got the first deck pick of the day. We've got Amir coming up. I picked this uh, gorgeous color eight marbled uh, Bugs Moran. I just feel like uh, this one looks like a million bucks, you know what I'm saying? Like this is a strong wallet. I hope whoever gets this uh, really appreciates it. It's gonna it's gonna patina well, and I like how the hornween's just peeking out. You know, it's just saying howdy. It's not yelling, but it's it's just kind of greeting you. All right, thanks, Amir. And now we have Matt that has another wallet picked out. Hey, YouTube. So I picked out this intense blue with mock interior, Johnny the Fox. And I picked this one out because I really like the uh, blue and tan combination. That's just a really cool color combo in my opinion. And then also the blue shells are really hard to get um, certain vibrant shades of blue. And this one just has a really, really nice glow to it in my opinion. All right, I wanted to show you my pick at the end here. This is a Johnny the Fox in color number eight shell cordovan. And not only is the color eight on the outside of this just super sleek, it's very stunning. The classic shell cordovan color, that dark brown burgundy shade. But what I like most about this particular one is the inside. And in particular, there's one little card slot here of the color eight reverse interior that just sort of uh, 
set the spark for me. I just love this red shade here. And we don't often see very many pieces that are this much of a red shade on the color eight reverse, but everything about this inside is super cool. In particular, that piece, we've got the Horween ink stamp in the center, we've got a Horween ink stamp in the bill slot. This is just a great way to end the day. So thanks for checking out all the great stuff today. Thanks to Matt and Amir for picking out their staff picks, the color eight and marbled show court of Bugs Moran. That's super cool looking. And we also had Matt's intense blue. Uh, Johnny the Fox with that mock interior and I did also agree with him that the the mock interior sort of sets off the blue shade on the outside it's just a really great Johnny the Fox great day of good stuff can't wait for you to have these wallets so thanks again and I'll see you guys tomorrow